her little lungs puffing and out. And while people say the intangible spirits of good walk among us as holier than thou guardians, I think angels show up in weaker forms. I'm holding eight grams of barely anything, all wings and shiny ruby breast and jeweled eyes tumbling off her perch. She isn't going to make it, this one. But I want to deny it with every heartstring I have and demand she fly. Forty-two days of training here amongst tiny victims I've held, whisper otherwise. A fractured ulna is a death sentence here where even the albino crow is too blind for freedom. She flutters. She pips. She struggles. What I wouldn't do to keep this hummingbird alive. My clumsy hands try to guide her to the very nectar that might save her. She looks at me with a trust that dispels all her fear. At all hours, we are entertaining angels, here to show us who we really are. Little chances, tiny visions. The eyes of the coffee shop girl are the mellow brown of the coffee she pours into a cup to catch just a little of our soul. She says to me in a voice that seemed just months of nicotine, Hey, this one's on me. Things will get better. As if she knew. And I'm dumb and dumbfounded by a gesture you might find small or petty or simple, but those words tripping over my heart brought a joy to me that day when things were going bad because sometimes cutters use their thighs as hateful canvas, blood the indelible ink. Sometimes your midnights are made up of the mathematics of overdose. I held liquid kindness between my palms and wanted to ask her, how are her wings tied into her apron? Polka dots and white speckled spots on a downtown sort of Sunday when a man with nothing but words to offer the world stepped into our path and said his name was David. Like the underage hero. Like the poet. Like the man with a million mistakes and all the love of the universe. From the clear skies of nowhere, he said, Your love is radiant. And while we wondered in the... Whoa of a man who couldn't know what that would mean to the fabric of our soul, his words did not wash over in that afternoon when truth took a moment to also ask for lunch. I live in the presence of wingless angel folk, tripping lightly at our sides, the guardians of heart who stand shoulder side to brave with you those shaking storms taking dive bombs for your soul amongst a devil's daring dance. Make no mistake, often they show up as friends, and the best, and often even strangers, and often the spiritual unseen. In the entertaining of strangers, we entertain the angels, but only with pale ale and nachos, for what honor do such guests have in this home? I like to think they walk among us, if only because I'm lonely without their company, collecting feathers left on the ground, and wondering if they mean to leave these signs. If angels want to be so obvious to let you know that they passionately care for you. I think the angels will find you, if only you'd find their wingless kind. And what can we offer? A love that can only bend around and never splinter. And small assurances that things will be alright in the end. The dull-eyed people see the bright and fire-eyed and ask where God revealed is, where those big spiritual encounters of the prophets and martyrs are, and if tongues and curing cancer are lost so long ago, where are the signs? Where are the spiritual unseen? Why haven't I been shown anything? Why can't I see God? Where are the chariots of fire descending from the sky? Where is God now? I smile. Oh, little hummingbird, I'm standing in the presence of the wingless angels. <laughs>